If you have a problem where you export a song from Studio One, but it's not exporting the right amount of the song, it's either cutting it off or too long, I'm going to show you how to fix that today forever. So here's the example. you got a song you're feeling incredible about. You go to export it. You, I hit Command E, Control E on the PC to open the export mix down window. We're going to call this Awesome Mix, an MP3. We're so ready to send this to our buddies, and they're going to praise us for our musical genius. But then this happens. We send them our song, and they say, hey, there's nothing here. And you say, what? You're crazy. And so we go open up the file. Doggone it, they're right. There's nothing here. The song doesn't start until the 15th second. That's no good. Then you keep listening and you get to the end of the song. And, get back up and, and the song cut off too early. Strike two. The beginning was 15 seconds long. That's annoying for the listener. Nobody's going to listen for 15 seconds. They're just going to assume you did something wrong, even if it's just a few seconds, like five seconds. And then if it cuts off at the end, that's a super big deal. So what happened here? Well, you may have noticed when we open up that export window, there's an export range section. See this right here? And the options are between loop, between song start and end marker, between each marker, between selected markers, overlap. This is the one that I recommend using. However, if you're not careful and you use this, you're going to mess things up. Why? Because maybe you don't even know what start end markers are and you can't even see them in your session. That's a big problem. So I'm going to show you how to fix this. Open up your song. Come to the Arranger window, which is what we're looking at right now, and look up here in the top left corner. There's a button right here. Global Track Visibility is what it means. Click on that, and there are several of these options here. You're going to select Marker. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you've seen this at the top of every song. There's a little Start Flag or Start Marker and an End Marker. One of the first things I do, once I've recorded some songs... Uh, recorded a song, and I'm ready to export it the first time, I come in and make sure the start and end markers are in the right place. So this is telling Studio One, I want the song to start around here. That feels good. And I want it to end over here. See how it defaulted to right there? That's why the song got cut off. I want it to end after the song actually ends, which is there. It, it defaults in your, in your template or whatever to maybe five minutes long, which should cover most songs. But you want to customize this for every song that you record. So what I recommend is open up a blank session and make sure the marker is enabled and visible. And then save that and let that be your starting point. So the marker track is always visible on every song that you open instead of being hidden like it was. Now that it's set up like this, when we go to export... It's going to choose between the song start and end marker, which is what it did before, but now it's going to be correct. So what else can you do with this marker track? If you like to add other markers throughout your song, you can do that. Shift-Y will pop up this little window where you can insert a marker. So this would be verse 1, and you can just do this literally as you're just listening back. You just press Shift-Y for the next section. But something's there. And you can just keep doing that throughout. Here's life is one. And these can be moved around. These can be moved around. Um, it's not like a permanent set in stone thing. They can be deleted. Click on it and press backspace. It will delete. But the two most important are the start and the end markers. Fun fact. Um, the other way people like to export is they'll export a loop range, which is honestly the way I used to do it when I was a Pro Tools guy. You would select a loop section. And then that would be what gets exported. The problem is, if you ever go change that loop, like let's say you're working on a mix and you just want to work on... Let's, let's say we did that. We exported a loop range, okay, earlier. And then we changed that loop. So we went to like this final chorus. We want to work on mixing this. So we turn that loop on and we're just looping the final chorus over and over. And we get done and we're ready to go... Export. We're ready to export. If we don't remember that that loop moved, when we export this loop, what's going to happen? You guessed it. It's only exporting about 30 seconds of the song, and it's at the chorus. Now you look stupid again. So instead of that, I think a better option. I think the export loop range has its, has its place, but for typical exporting songs from start to end, which is what I do all day long, it, I would rather do the start end marker. That way I only have to set them once at the beginning of working on a song. Once I've recorded that first track and I know where the start and the end are, I can set it once. I never have to worry about messing that up again. And then I can use the loops. Oops. 
And then I can use the loop feature for what it's meant for, which is looping certain sections to work on a mix or work on a recording or loop record or anything like that. That's where the start and end marker comes into play. Now, one other thing, sorry, that's kind of fun, is if you want to set the start and end marker automatically, you can just create, just select something and then press Option Y, and it'll set the start marker at the very beginning of that file and the end marker at the very end of that selection. Now, it doesn't work in a lot of situations because, as you can see, it moved it back to the beginning. But if I had already edited this, cleaned this up to where it was exactly where I wanted it to be, for example, this one was right here and this one was right here. So now if I select this section and hit Option Y, which would be, I believe, Control or would be Alt Y on the PC, you can see it moved my start and end markers exactly in the right spot. I do this a lot when I'm importing a piece of audio and I want to export the whole thing. Once I've doctored it up, I just import it. When I select it, I press Option Y and it sets the start and end markers and then I do what I got to do and export it. And that, that way I'm never exporting the wrong thing, which can be really annoying. My name is Joe Gilder. Hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. See ya.